Hello everybody, my name is Jose Cortez. I'm hey. a Southeastern University student and for my persuasive speech, I'm going to be talking about why cats are better than dogs. Now, if we look on the board, uh, we can see many reasons why cats are better than dogs. Uh, to also keep in mind that this is my opinion, so uh, hopefully we'll take it. Maybe you're a dog lover and you do not like cats. <laughs> I think cats are better than dogs because First of all, you don't have to take care of a cat as much as you have to take care of a dog. For example, dogs need to be taken out literally every time you get home or they will spoil your carpet, they will pee everywhere, they will poop everywhere. So, uh, for a cat, you just have to buy an inexpensive litter box. The litter is uh, maybe like five, ten dollars And then uh, the cat will pretty much take care of itself. It will uh, pretty much go on its own. You just have to keep it in a corner of your house. There's cat litter that stops the odor uh, from going out, so it's very uh, non-smelly. And cats will uh, just do it by themselves. Pretty much all you have to do to clean it out is grab a pail, which they have nowadays, uh, specifically for cat litter, and you just take it out, or you can just dump out the whole box in the trash and uh, take out the trash, and, and that way, you no longer have to wake up in the morning, early in the morning to take out your dog. And I know I used to have a dog, so uh, taking out your dog and literally walking around, waiting for your dog to, to do its business, sometimes it takes forever, especially during the winter months when we are freezing and when you just wanna be inside of the warmth of your home, you're not able to do that because your dog has necessities. So if you look over here, the first one is cats, are not neat. Cats are not neat. Second reason is cats uh, are very uh, mysterious. They like to, they don't really come up to you a lot. They do when they want attention. Uh, for example, dogs, when you, when you come in uh, into your driveway, when you drive up, when they hear the door click, the dog starts wagging its tail. I have seen dogs that literally pee from excitement, from how excited they are to see their odors. And that's just another mess you have to clean up. You know, we all have busy lifestyles. We all have work or school or something different. We don't have, we don't want to have to take out stacks of newspaper or stacks of uh, paper towels and just clean that stuff up. No one has time for that. So if the cat, that's pretty much, uh, taken care of. A cat will not pee of excitement. A cat will probably not even be excited to see you. You will probably get home and be like, where is my cat? And then six hours later, you will be typing and your cat will be like, meow, and jump on you. So uh, the point is that cats are not ne cats are not needy, which brings back to the second one, but they're also very mysterious. All cats can see in the dark. This makes their eyes glow. So who would it like to have like, uh, a pair of glowing eyes just watching over your house every single day and they're also they also clean themselves so it, it just brings us back to the first point cats are not needy second of all cats have benefits to having them about 33 percent of house owners say that cats relax them um cats are very easy to take care of cats are very uh kid friendly and cats will take care of rodents now this is my second point cats will take care of rodents, will kill rodents. So if you have a rat problem, if you have a cockroach problem, if you have crickets, whatever kind of bug you have, your cat will take care of it. Your cat can see in the dark if they come out at night. Your cat will literally stalk that prey during the day while you're at work. Your cat will take care of the rodent problem and because of it, um, you will not have rodents. Now dogs, maybe they're very nice to have, maybe they'll play fetch with you, and maybe they can protect you, but overall, what what in reality does a, a, does a dog bring to the table? Maybe we can have a big dog and say it's for protection, but if you ask me, if I have a, if I have a newborn baby, do I really want a Great Dane or a Rottweiler walking around the house? So, and cats are very kid friendly as well. Um, so that brings us to our third point. Cats are kid friendly.
cats are kid friendly. Uh, uh, for the most part, if you have a good cat, a, a good house cat or a good outside cat, they will not attack you. They will not scratch you unless you physically hurt the cat. I have seen kids who pick up cats, literally drag them around, pull their tail, and the cat will not attack you. Uh, a cat doesn't have uh, as strong as an as an instinct as dogs do to attack first. I remember when uh, I got here to the United States, my dad. Uh, used to have a prize winning dog her name was geisha uh, and she was a very good dog but she was also a japanese dog and therefore um she 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 was bred to fight uh her, well her breed was bred to fight we never like made her fight or anything we just used her for like shows of like uh, dog shows and so as soon as she take as, as soon as she attacked a squirrel one day and she tasted blood we would have to literally take care of her and make sure she wouldn't go out because she would attack other dogs based off her instincts. She attacked three dogs, she killed two cats, and then we had to put her down because dogs have instincts. We might think, oh, little Billy, my dog, isn't gonna attack my kids. But when instincts kick in, dogs are not gonna, our dogs are just gonna follow their instincts. If a dog feels in danger, if a dog feels threatened, it doesn't matter if you've known the dog your whole life. We can see this through countless lawsuits and countless news articles of pit bulls and Rottweilers and German Shepherds who have attacked their owners because of the fact that instinct just kicks in and you can't do anything. And when you have a raging dog coming at you, you can't really do anything. Cats, on the other hand, are very small, very manageable. Cats will not attack you. Cats are very not, uh, they're not very aggressive. And cats will always uh, be there to, maybe they won't protect you, but they will be there to cuddle. And that's always a great thing. <laughs> so that brings us to the fourth thing. Cats are not dangerous to humans. Cats are not dangerous. So the last part, uh, which I like, is that uh, for me, I hate cats that, I, I hate dogs that need to be taken uh, baths all the time. I know dogs become stinky a lot because of the fact that they're always running around, they're always getting sweaty, all of these different things. So dogs, I know when I, uh, when I go back home to Ocala and my mom makes me clean the dog, Literally, I have, it takes me an hour because not only do I have to lather the shampoo, lather the conditioner, I have to make sure the dog stays still. A dog will uh, wag and literally wet everything around the house and then you have to blow dry because just um, with a towel, it will not work. So cats literally lick themselves and they clean themselves. Maybe they shed here and there, but if you're not allergic, it won't really bother you. You just have to get your carpets clean or you can vacuum yourself, which most Americans in modern homes, uh, three and four Americans own a vacuum cleaner. That is a statistic. So all you have to do is pass a vacuum once, uh, once a week and you'll be fine. And so that pretty much concludes my speech. I know it's an opinion, but I just want to persuade you. Sit, go to your local cat shelter, get a cat. Cats love humans and humans love cats. And together we can save cats for a better cause <laughs> so we can have a better tomorrow because cats need to be saved cats are precious animals they're gifts from god and we need to take care of them that is my speech thank you yes we did